is up guys welcome back to pretty smart sports my name is caleb and today we're going to be talking a little bit more about football and more specifically offensive personnel groupings now today we're going to cover zero one and zero two personnel groupings or packages or some people might call it one or two or there's various different ways to describe it they're all empty sets but let's go over what exactly each one of these groupings mean so to start off what is zero one or one personnel well, one personnel means that on offense, there are no running backs. There's one tight end, and there are four wide receivers on the field. Now, this is another empty package, and is used primarily in obvious passing situations, and it gives the offense the option to have a tight end on the field to either run a route and catch a pass, or to leave them in to block for the quarterback. Now, this package may be used instead of zero personnel. The team has an elite pass-catching tight end, such as Travis Kelsey or maybe George Kittle. Well, what is zero two personnel? Well, two personnel is very similar to one in that there are no running backs, but instead there are two tight ends and three wide receivers. It is also used in obvious passing down situations, but it is really pretty rarely used. Only teams with two really good tight ends can really use it effectively. For example, back when the Patriots had both Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez, they would line up in 0-2 personnel every once in a while. Again, neither 0-1 or 0-2 are widely used, combining for only 569 of the approximately 34,000 plays this past season in 2020, or roughly 1.5% of all NFL plays. And if your team is using either of these, they're probably in a pretty bad situation, having to gain a bunch of yards really quickly. So hopefully you aren't having to watch your team trot out 0-1 or 0-2 personnel very often. But to find out more about some other offensive personnel groupings, please subscribe to our channel. Um, also, we're going to be giving you plenty of other information about football and about some of your other favorite sports, so please subscribe. Also, drop us a like and a comment below too to stay interacted with us. Um, please go follow us on Twitter so you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing. And if you love football, go check out our other channel, Fantasy Tomorrow, where we're giving you all of the information that you need to win your fantasy football league. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.